So you're going to see the world-famous Cleveland Orchestra? Here's what to expect at the concert. Once everyone has been seated in the concert hall, the lights will dim to signal the beginning of the concert. Before the conductor walks on stage, the musicians need to check that their instruments are in tune with one another. The oboe plays a tuning note, an A, and the musicians play that same note and adjust their instruments to match. First, the woodwinds and brass tune, then the strings. String players adjust their A string and then the other strings on their instrument. Now the musicians are ready. We clap when the conductor comes on stage. They will bow and step onto the podium. When there is silence in the hall and the conductor is ready to begin, they will raise their hands. The role of a conductor is to unify a large group of musicians. Look at how the conductor cues the violins to tell them when to come in. Conductors decide what they want and communicate it to the musicians through their motions. The conductor also shows the tempo, or how fast the music is played, the dynamics, how loud or soft to play, and the mood of the music. The musicians are seated on stage according to their instrument family. The strings sit at the front of the stage. The woodwind instruments behind the strings the brass instruments next, and finally, the percussion instruments in the back. You will hear several pieces of music during the concert. Listen for instruments playing the melody and passing it along to other instruments. Listen for harmonies that show different emotions or music that paints a picture in your mind. We hope you enjoy the concert.